Good morning, I. How are you today? Oh, I love your shirt. Hey, where'd you get that one? Where'd you get that one from? Ryan? Yeah. Ah, Ryan's a brother. Nice one, I. Well, guys, what a beautiful bloody day. Look at this. We're out, we're getting the milk ready. We've got so much milk from the last previous days, and we're going to be making farmer's cheese. So all it is is you um, pasteurise your milk first, and then when it hits um, a certain temperature, you pour in half a cup of apple cider vinegar, and a gentle stir with a spoon, not a silk thick. What are you? Oh, hello, lady. Hello. What are you, a little leprechaun sitting up there? So good, look. <laughs> oh. Out there, and like, so good. Guys, live your dream. If you've got your dream, live the bass, the chicken oil, and we fucking love it. Absolutely love it. Right, so what are we doing? Right. Who are you doing? Are you doing both of them or one of them? One Jane. Jane only. Right, we'll do Jane. Now, Jane's only got one baby, which right. means she's only sucking on one tit. Okay? One tit only. So that means we've got to milk her badly of a morning. Exploding. Yeah. Oh. Come on, baby. Come on. Uh, I will bring her. Baby. Baby, her. Okay, you give me this. So her, her, she's producing so much milk. And the thing is, she is a pleasure to milk. She really is. All right, shirt camp. She is a pleasure to milk. I'll tell you, being first time, her, that means her nipples aren't, her nipples aren't rock hard like um, Bricky's, no. like Bricky's fucking thumbs, you know? No. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. So she's only learning to get up here yet, so. Styles, you're amazing, babe. Okay, she's locked. Big one. Good. Right, where's my cup? So get some water, give her titties a wash down. But um, like I said, she's a very good milk producer, this one. And her baby, M.M. Look at it. Christ. Now her titty, when you squeeze it, it automatically fills up straight away. Oof, look at that. Hey, Incredible. Incredible guys, she is incredible. Seriously. All right, they got it down, look at that. My God, she's a good milker this one, I'm telling you. I wish they were all like her guys. I wish they were all like her. All right guys, so we're bringing the milk up to temp now, we're gonna pasteurize it. So first we bring it up to 165. One, there we go, right, turn the gas off, count the 15, look at the clock, and stir. This is how you pasteurise at 165 Fahrenheit for 15 seconds. Then you stick that then into a, into a um, your sink full of ice water and drop the temperature down as quick as you can. As quick as you can. Right, so now, now at once, 165, 166, just so residual heat. Regular. So I don't have a metal spoon, would a no, plastic, anything. Set of plastic spoon anything. melt? Anything, just stir it. Anything at all, no, just it won't melt. It's only 165. I just told him never to use one of those. Right guys, here we are, 94.4, bubbles are coming up. Right, turn it off, that's how easy it is. Turn it off now. Half a cup of apple cider vinegar. Just drip that around. Like that, just dip it around. Now, use a flat spoon, whether it's plastic, metal, wood, whatever, and just give it a nice little rotate like this. Okay, nice little rotate. And you'll see, look, see it's coming up already? Look at that, it's coming up already. So that's how easy it is, guys. Okay, we've mixed it, now just leave it. Just leave it now. If you keep stirring it, you're going to break it down. And don't ever use one of these when you're stirring it. Okay? Don't use one of those. Okay, so now we've got our curds and whey. Look at that, guys. Absolutely gorgeous. That is just fucking beautiful. Right? Done. Look at that. Gorgeous. Right, this is 
this is one that I've done. Here's one I prepared earlier. So what I've done is I've put one inside the um, the net, the large one in the net, and inside the cheese drainer. So this is the one inside the cheese drainer. One thing, don't squeeze it, guys. Don't squeeze it. If you squeeze it, it turns out as hard as a rock. It's like me when I wake up in the morning. Hard as a rock, baby. I tell you. Spread this out like so. Now, chicken I like ours with a bit of pepper and salt. We think it always needs salt. So we're going to give a salt. Now, this is the stage where if you want to add your chilies, your dried apricots, you want to add your herbs inside. Okay. Empty eye. Sorry, sir, empty. So give it a shake. Right. Now, if you give this just a nice little fold, fold over. Okay. Nice little fold like so. Just to mix it. Whatever herbs you want to put in. Now, what I like to do then is to grab this and put it into a little bit of placky, and I'll show you why. Just like making a little sausage, guys. Just like making a little sausage. So we we'll just use that part at the moment. Right now, here we go with this one here. Okay. So give it a nice tight roll up. Now don't go too tight, like I said, it'll go rock hard on you. It'll go rock hard. That's enough. Right, just like that. No more. Voila. Mm -hmm. Then let that cool. Then you can roll that in your herbs. You can roll that like a sausage in your herbs. And that covers the outside, if you know what I mean. But one thing we learnt, don't don't squeeze the bastard. Alright? So there you go guys. You can roll it in, um, roll it in your cracked pepper, you can roll in yeah. chilies, whatever you want to do. But we'll just open this one up. Now, let's get a spoon I prepared earlier. You normally let that sit. Yeah, let it go cool. Cool it right down. Line up, line up. Look, throw that one in the wash. Don't you try any because you want to bite. I like to do chicken I like is a nice soft honey just sprinkled over the top like that guys nice soft honey and when it's cold much better of course but we haven't got time for that we just got to get in and eat this bitch mm. nice really nice mm. 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 So here we are, we've got our lessons going here now. <laughs> this is our cheese making lessons. Oh. Isn't it? Nice. That is that, really you've got to have that real soft honey, that's why we brought this one. We've got heaps of honey from Aussie, but it's more of a creamier stuff. Yeah. But uh, anything you want to add, guys. Crack pepper is good if it's got pepper in the shaker. <laughs> <laughs> no more. Hard to get good help, mate. Eh? <laughs> but nice. anything you want to add to it, just add to it. That is really nice. Mm. Just give it that little run around, put it in the container, and it's done. done. But remember, guys, don't squeeze the guts out of it. Okay? Don't squeeze the guts out of it. Very nice. Put that in the fridge like that, slice it down on a bickie. That's how oh, easy it is. That would be nice, yeah. That's how easy. Mm -hmm. Alright, guys, that's us on the farm. We're going to say ta ta. We've got breakfast to do. This one's going to be made up. So, like I said, we like ours with um, salt and cracked pepper rolled up. When we're going to eat it, sprinkle some um, honey, liquid honey over the top. Creamed honey is just too thick for it, but it does work. Yeah, Hope you enjoyed the show, guys. That's us today. Milk in the goat, pasteurise in the milk, and turn it into farmer's cheese. Happy eye. Happy, happy hunt. Happy. Jackie happy. Baz. Yeah, happy. happy. All right, guys, catch us all later. Bye-bye.